Hello student, today I am going to take lecture on JSTL custom tag. We have already seen JSTL library which contains several library such as code tag library, function library, internationalization tag library, SQL library and XML library respectively. All the libraries were created by developer and just we need to add that library in our code and use it. But now if we want to create our own tags, if we want to include our own library, then what to do? The solution is, then we need to use JSTL custom tag library. So now let us learn how to create a JSTL custom tag. First of all, introducing custom tag. Custom tag is a user-defined JSP language element. User-defined. When a JSP page with a custom tag is translated into servlet, as we know that every JSP is converted to sublet and that time is known as a translation time. So when a JSP page with a custom tag is translated into sublet then the tag is also converted to operation on an object called tag handler. As every JSP page is converted to sublet, if we are creating a JSP page with a custom tag, it will be also converting to sublet where whatever operation we have specified in the tag is converted on an object called tag handler. The web container where our JSP page executes then invokes those operation when JSP page sublet is executed. Now the JSP tag extension let you create new tags and once you have created that new tag, you can insert directly to your JSP page itself. So now how to create this custom tag programmatically. Let us start. To create this custom tag, we require three things. Step number one, we need to create tag handler class. In this class, we specify what our custom tag will perform when it is used in our JSP page. So business logic of your own created tag should be placed inside tag handler class. This tag handler class is basically a simple Java class which is used to specify function of your tag that what actually your tag will do or we can say business logic of your tag. Step number two, we need to create TLD file, the file with an extension .tld. That file is known as a tag descriptor file where we will specify our tag name and tag handler class and tag attribute. Now in this tag descriptor file, we just need to specify what is our tag name which we have written in tag handler class and detail about tag handler class. So we need to write path of tag handler class in my .tld file. This was second step. Third step, we need to create our JSP page where we are going to include custom tag. A JSP page where we will be using our custom tag. So now let us start with step number one, creating tag handler class, which includes business logic. Tag handler class is the most important part of creating custom tag. Defining a custom tag named ex colon hello. Here you can change the name as per your convenience. Now here I want to create a custom tag name ex colon hello. You can also write any other name if you want because this is custom tag. You can even write the tag of your own name. Next, to create a custom JSP tag, you must first create a Java class that act as a tag handler. So, how to create such a class with NetBeans? Just go to your project, right click on your project and create a Java class. This Java class should be inside package. So let us create hello tag class. 
for creating a tag class i need to import javax servlet dot jsp dot tag ext dot star next i need to import javax dot servlet dot jsp dot star i also required java dot io dot star as i want to print some output through name of my tag that's why i'm importing io class next line public class class name that is hello tag extends simple tag support now this is the class which will provide basic functionality to create a tag next method public void do tag what our tag will actually perform will be specified within do tag method which throws jsp exception and io exception now jsp writer out which is having similar functionality to print writer class if i want to send something to output stream jsp writer class is used equal to get jsp context this method is used to return jsp context dot get out is the method to send data to output stream then out dot println hello custom tag with this i complete business logic of my tag so you can write any damn business logic within this class which represent what your tag actually performs here i have created one tag named ex colon hello which will print hello custom tag message that's it so we have created a tag handler class actual logic of this tag is completed now next i need to define dot tld file so now let us create hello tag dot java in netbeans creating new project java web web application custom tag jstl finish now first of all i need to create a package new java package let's say my package finish within this package i need to create java class java class name hello tag finish here i need to import java x dot sublet dot jsp dot tag ext dot star next i need to import java x dot servlet dot jsp dot star and i also need to import java dot io dot star now within my hello tag i need to extend simple tag support so extends simple tag support class this class which extends object class implement simple tag class which is a base class for defining tag handlers so it provides all the basic methods for writing tag handler basically we are writing this tag handler class now i need to write method do tag so public void do tag which throws jsp exception and io exception so whenever the exception is required netbeans will prompt me now i need to write print writer class or in jsp i would say jsp writer class jsp writer out equal to get jsp context now this get jsp context is a protected jsp context method 
that returns the page context passed in by container via set JSP context. So get JSP context dot get out method which will print current value of out object. Basically, my tag will be performing only one function is to just print a message. So, hello, welcome to world of custom tag. So, I have completed this tag handler class. Now, here NetBeans prompt me an error which tell me to throw IO exception with respect to do tag method. So now with this, we have completed designing of our tag handler class, which is business logic of our tag. Here the business logic is just to print a message. Now this tag handler class is inside my package and hello tag dot Java class. Next, I need to write TLD file, which will define tag name and tag handler class. So how to create TLD file? Let us learn. Tag library descriptor TLD file contains information of tag and tag handler class. This class must be contained inside web inf directory. Now I need to create my text.tld file that is tag library descriptor file and with an XML code tag lib. So version URI should be webinf slash tlds slash mytext.tld. Then tag name hello, tag class name where our actual logic is my package dot hello tag body content is empty right now. So now let us create this TLD file. Now I will teach you how to create this TLD file with NetBeans. So in whatever project you are working, just right click new other web within web option tag library descriptor file. Next name of my tag library descriptor file. Now I need to specify name of my file. My tag no need to provide extension. Now check it out here URI is a slash web INF slash TLD slash my text. So NetBeans will automatically create a directory for storing your TLD file. As soon as I click on finish, now let us check on left hand side web INF TLDs and my text dot TLD file. Now I need to write tag name and handler. So here tag lib version 1.0 short name my tags then URI is web INF slash TLD slash my tag. Now here I need to specify tag name tag within tag I need to write name now name of my tag is hello now I need to specify tag class so tag class within tag class I need to specify path so here path is my package dot hello tag and lastly body content which is empty thus with this we have completed our TLD file that was step number two for creating custom tag here I have specified name class and content Next, I need to create my JSP file which will be using custom tag. So here I need to specify prefix URI. As this is custom tag, I need to specify my library webinf slash tld my tag dot tld. 
within body I need to write ex that is prefix colon hello. So now let us write this code in netbins. So new JSP name of my file custom demo now here I need to specify taglib taglib URI equal to Now I need to copy this URI from my TLD file. My TLD file already contains this URI. So copy and paste here. Whereby I need slash TLD slash my text and prefix equal to say ex. You can specify whatever prefix convenient to you as this is again a custom tag. Now I don't require this head tag right now. I don't require this header also. Directly I am writing ex colon hello. Now I'll be executing this program ex colon hello tag. So it will print output hello welcome to the world of custom tag whatever we have written in tag handler class is printed here with this we complete jsp custom tag and with jsp custom tag we complete unit number four that is java server pages jsp thank you all of you